right, guys, that's awesome. That's really good. Round of applause. The Respect Workshops is a four-week program that runs in high schools. It's um, primarily for Aboriginal kids. It's about producing a hip hop song and a video clip and it's about them really enjoying themselves. The rundown, I suppose, the first couple of weeks was just really these guys getting engaged in uh, understanding what Australian hip hop is about and connecting it to their cultural roots. We have a team for the Respect Workshops. Um, there's only a small team. We have a choreographer, um, an actor who works in the performance areas. Um, we have graphics artists who helps them with the uh, album designs. And then obviously the camera crew that come in towards the end. Um, but with the facilitators and all of those aspects, uh, they're really dedicated to getting the kids up and moving. Well, first things first, we had to get them confident within a group because there's 20 students so um, my role um, being previously an actor was to get them in a circle, do a couple of little games, discovering that there's a lot of dancers in the group but I'm doing dancing and stuff like that, just bust a move in the middle of a circle, you know, get that shame out of them and then uh, Scott would sit them down and start talking about how to write lyrics, how to rhyme and uh, we slowly got them writing their own song. A lot of them started bringing their own cultural sort of heritage to it in terms of the language that they used, uh, talking about their elders, the communities, um, you know, even sort of when they started doing art, their artwork. Hip hop communicating to these kids is just a very contemporary style or genre of music, but it's also a great educational tool. It has all the aspects of an of a English class, slash dance class, slash music class. It's writing about life, and writing about their lives and what they go through and statements about how they live. My mum heard the song and she's, she's saying it's really good and she's proud of us all. Hmm. And this song gives a meaning to succeed in life and not like do all the bad stuff make good choices and be proud of yourself and our culture. Even though we're writing poetry, um, these kids can find, or the students can find uh, a lot of fun in, in writing the lyrics. So I think there's a lot of students who would have sort of turned their nose up a bit at, at English or maybe writing poems or limericks, but in a context of hip hop, um, with, you know, they're fascinated by the rhyme words. Um, you know, I had some of the guys fighting over a rhyme dictionary. You know, they were like, I want the rhyme dictionary next. Whereas, you know, um, I've had teachers here go, wow, I've never seen those guys be so interested in a dictionary. So I think it, it, it creates a fascination uh, with the English language. Um, just, I looked at a word and started just rapping and it come out and he said, yeah, that was good. I put that down and yeah. Aboriginal, individual, looking invincible to other people, but to us we're in, uh, original, <laughs> yeah, something like that. They just, they, they realised they had a, a forum, a place, but then they had something to say, and they were just so eager to get it out. Mm. So they, they were, it was, they were so focused and so dedicated to, to exploring and expressing what it is they wanted to say. Uh, my words are, I lived a hard life, but I came good, because everybody had my back in my neighbourhood. Yeah. Alright, so it goes, lead don't follow, step up your game, don't be ashamed of getting the fame. Lead don't follow, that's the motto, forget about the past and look to tomorrow. They, the guys chose the song to be called Lead Don't Follow. These guys came up with that as, as a, a message to send um, in their song. And so there's a lot of the lines in the song that have um, are about overcoming obstacles. And a lot of the, well, these guys do have ha had gone through hardships. It's about being able to live a positive life and to find something positive to do. And I think for a lot of the guys, it's reinforcing where they want to go later in life. In terms of the song and subject matter, um, it's very topical to them. And that's what I usually do in the workshop is allow allow them the, the creative space to say, okay, this is what we want to do. This is what we want to say as a group, as a class, trying to write the lyrics. Um, one girl piped up and said about um, how we should listen to our elders because they've been through it all before. And you know, a lot of the other guys as well piped in and said, yes, you know, listen to your mum and dad and don't take them for granted. So then we chucked those lyrics in. Um, yeah, listen to your elders, they've been through it. They'll show you the way and how to pursue it. They've all signed contracts. Um, 
promising, not just promising, but committing to um, keeping on top of their other work if they were to be involved in the RESPECT program, showing respect across the board in everything they did in the school. And so for the four weeks, we've seen them every single day for two hours. They've been going to all of their other classes. So we've been really, really happy with what they've been doing. Their sense of pride in themselves, in their work, in, in, in their culture, because, you know, what the lyrics, if you read their lyrics, it's all about feeling pride about what they can achieve, who they can be, and where they come from, and who they are. The Respect Workshops are important to me because I think they're a great tool for helping with communication, um, for their self-esteem. I think for, for young kids it's a great tool for them to be able to build their self-confidence and enjoy themselves at the same time. It's a whole new experience for us and we love it. Music is something that you'd want to do, it's like a good workshop and it shows the processes of making videos and how to produce songs and music and all sorts of stuff. My family, yeah, they said that um, I'm very, they're very proud of me and what I'm doing right now at school, especially my pop, like, you know, he really loves what I do, everything, if I, yeah, because he loves me playing football and here I'm like rapping, he's like, oh, that's awesome. Even though I'm not old, nowadays I follow my goals. Lee, don't fight. 